Good morning. Welcome to another Relax and Paint. Today, I'm excited to do something that I love all the time, and that is roses. And it is the holiday season, this month of Christmas with the Lord Savior's birthday as a thrilling place for me to start um, thinking of more than ever about how grateful we are for what he has given us. And so today, I wanted to paint the the flower that has um, made more people come to paint with one stroke than anything else. And that is a cabbage rose, but a different one than we've been doing. And it's a Christmas bouquet, small bouquet, but it's fun to do together. So I'm gonna show you some uh, tools that I use along the way. And please subscribe and join me for, um, you could even ring the, click it to ring the bell to let you know when I'm going to be on, because I've been popping up with holiday uh, Facebook lives, so try that out, and please, I'm going to, if this is December 14th, 2022, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're having, for all my subscribers, we're having a PJ um, painting ornament, party. So come join us and paint along with us and there's giveaways. So um, thank you so much. And let's get started. Okay. So we are going to have a few su uh, supplies here and that is really shining a lot there. Okay. These are the brushes I use. Those are my Don and Beaver value pack. And there's 10 in there. And these are all on stroke.com on my website, okay? And so you see me using these a lot. I wanted to share that with you. I use, I use floating medium a lot. And many people say, what's that clear stuff you use, ma'am? So we don't use water with one stroke painting. When we're painting, we clean our brush. We dry off the water, all right? And then we pick up paint and we paint. All right. And this is what we use if we feel like it's getting dry. We dip a little bit of this and we're ready to go. So I have my double loader. Uh, the thing with this double loader is I put everything in here for those who might be starting out new and want to know how are those who want to control their strokes a little better or they want to keep their palette clean so it doesn't run into each other. You can put, you can dampen the sponge in this double loader. This, this is one of my tools, my brush basin and this and a palette that many people love to get. And then you close this up and you, you uh, line these two notches up because this fits into my uh, palette, okay? Here's the palette, all right? So it fits right into this. And you can stand at an easel or wherever and paint. And if you close it up, if you have to run out and or want to come and paint a little bit later, your paint's still fresh. Okay. So this, I already put the floating medium in the middle is a clear gel. All right. So the first, I'm not going to do a red rose like I usually do, but I might even show you one a little bit later. But I want to take my three quarter inch flat brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of treasure gold and two thirds white. So see, I split the brush there and then I'm going to work it in, work it in, work it in, split the brush, work it in. And so I'm going really hard, push, 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 push. And then I've got too much on there. So look, I can just come in here and pick up another bit of treasure gold, treasure gold, gold. All right, because there's lots of treasure gold. Okay, so let, let's turn our bouquet this way. All right, this is art paper, smooth art paper. And you can buy these in a pad. We even sell those pads too. One, two, three. And we're going to go around. I kind of do a dot like this to get the size of the flower I want. Okay, about the size of your palm of your hand. Okay, now we're going to keep going back here. There's such a glare here. I'm going to try to make it where it's not going to 
show you too much of a glare. I can come right here and pick up more. You usually have to flatten it over here, but I'm going to overlap the corner. One, two, three. Pull the brush with you. All right, there's still paint right there where I loaded. Okay. So see those dry edges? I don't like these dry edges right here. So I'm going to just dip more. It looks like a lot of paint, but I'm still going to dip more there. And a little bit more treasure gold. So I'm picking up paint. Have you noticed? Almost every single stroke. Now, see, I have a ton of paint, but it's still a little dry because it's paper. So this is when you could go and dip just that corner that's dry in the floating medium. Come here, work it in, and then come back here and you're ready. So the whole time you're painting, this should feel like butter. As smooth as butter. Okay. So now I want you to see that my eyes looked all the way around that circle. Now I'm going to wipe this off a little bit more because it's just really heavier than I want it right now because I want the gold to show a little bit more. So let's come right here and let's try not to use a whole bunch of the cubbies for um, other colors. I mean, the same color over and over. Use a foam plate if you're going to mess up the whole palette because we need these loading areas in here, okay? So I dipped each edge because I'm trying to keep it a little separate. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put, I'm going to just do layers and pounce the center on this rose. Um, so this is a good rose. You see my pink rose probably on the side. But what I want you to see on here is how an open rose is a little simpler. And when you're first starting, we're just going to do a couple of layers. See the two layers of rose petals all right so i just dipped but when i dipped i had to dip dip work it in okay now what's going to help you with this is i've just on practice strokes showed you how to side load how to use this double loader last week so on fridays i do practice strokes and i teach you how to use all the tools and things so i can like lift this up a little bit so that you don't have a glare. Ah, I'm going to have to change my lighting. Okay, so I can come in here and just fill this in a little bit. All right, just so I can see that the whole um, area is filled in. Then I'm going to get uh, my scruffy brush. Now we have two sizes of scruffies in that set, okay, in the set I showed you. But there is a medium scruffy that um, if you get my signature sets there and or you can buy that medium scruffy online uh, by itself so here's the large scruffy and it might do well in here and the but I have to control it so much and this one I can move around but this one I'll do it quick for us because it's the medium size this brush does not get wet it stays dry all right so I'm going to pounce one end and the treasure gold and one the other two thirds of that and burnt umber and this is all this is what you're going to love this is right here my multi-surface paint now what i'd like to share with you is that this goes on glass metal wood canvas paper uh, a multitude of places that you can use this paint and that's my go-to I don't have to worry about the finishes or, or sealing. It's got sealer in it. It's, it's a shine, so it's wonderful. So I'm going to pass this around tight. See, I'm tight, tight, tight. And I'm going to spin around with this. And I'm leaving the gold in the middle. Can you see that? So I can pass a little bit more. And it's tight. See how tight this is? The, the key I didn't tell you is that you have to fluff these brushes to get an oval, a nice oval. This one, I've got dried paint in it, which is 
going to be fine. I just have to break it up again. Okay. I thought I got all the paint out. When you're cleaning these, pounce it straight up and down into your basin and you can clean it out really good because it's the natural hair. You don't want to rake it. Okay. So, so isn't that kind of pretty? So what I want to do with this is let's come over here and do an open I mean, a side view, hello. All right, so look at that, see? All right, I'm gonna come back here, pick up a little bit more, flatten it down. Okay. And this is a side view. Okay. Now, I have to lift that up so you see it better. See the side view of it. You see how even though they're both white, you can see layers. Okay, now at this point, I would come in here and put some leaves. Okay, so let's pick a, we're going to make this a Christmas um, arrangement. So we have on my website where you can get stroke studies. So let me show you this. All right, this is kind of fun. All right, so this is a Christmas one. Let's see. All right, this is where you can get this patterns and this is a video. So you can go get the video. It's like a three hours long and you can stop and start with me. So we have magnolia sprays, but I want to just see the greenery. So there's holly, little sprigs, winter berries. All right, so there's some more poinsettias. And some of these poinsettias are really easy because it's one stroke with golden red. Okay, so um, then look at this. Now here's different leaves and how you can get gold with them, different winter flowers and crab apples, all right? And there's even a red rose. I put them in this sleeves, protect them. And look at all the pine cones that I teach you, pine needles and pine cones, all right? So I just like to look in here and see if there's some greenery that I wanna use because that really helps you see the snow, the scruffy where you use the snow there and ferns like these evergreens, right? So just all kinds of, this is dragonfly glaze and treasure gold. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and look. There's different types of green that we can work with, all right? So I'm gonna lay that out to inspire me. And so I wanna just put some of this down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a 16, 16 you can order separately too all right so you're going to come in there you have 10 of my most used brushes inside this value pack this one is this one and a rake brush and that medium scruffy you can buy all singly okay all right so now what i want you to see is i'm going to grab citrus and sap and i'm going to grab little strokes to pull Pull this back down. All right. So let's do just a couple of leaves. Okay. Now I'm going to do right up to that rose. I'm going to do a regular leaf. That's a rose heart leaf. Okay. Then I pull the stem. But I can come in here. Watch this. And do, let's get a little bit of white on here. See, I can come over here to the white. And the white went on the citrus edge. So I'm going to put some evergreen in here. And this is some, um, it's not just pine needles. It's little sprays that come from one spot. Can you see that? All right. And then I can do some bigger pine needles from here. And I'm putting this underneath before I put more, more berries and flowers, okay? So just that, I love to put these on a candle, paint a candle and put these around. But I also like to paint right on the big pillar candles. Right with this paint, you'll love it. And there's a point. Okay, so now watch what happens here. 
Okay, got more paint. I'm going to come here. I'm going to put pressure and stand up to a point. Make a U. See the U? Pressure, point, pressure, stand. All right, so now look at this. I'm going to just pull a stem in there, and you've got a holly leaf. All right, so I can put a little bit more um, citrus. And let's make another little. I want points. Pressure point, pressure point. Okay, so if I overlap, I'm just going right on top of that. See, I went pressure and come back. All right, so I'm going to fill this in and smooth it out and then pull the stem in here. Okay, so see, I can smooth it or do it like this, but I'm going to put so much other stuff around here. It's going to look good too. And so I think, what do you think? We get some more little pine needles here. I hope that you're sitting there drinking your hot cocoa or your coffee and you are looking at this and thinking, I'm going to go get something to paint this on today. And come back and watch it a few times if you watch it. And then you go and you watch me do this holly. Turn off the video. Stop it. Pause it. Try it. And then come back and watch me again. What you'll see is something that you didn't see me do after you practice. It's easy then to see, oh, I didn't see you doing that. that. Sound good? Right. So you need some me time. I can tell you with seven children and always a baby nursing. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do um, to make my house prettier. Just uh, creativity helped me keep my sanity. I don't know. Maybe you all might not think I have sanity after I do all these. I do a lot of YouTube and we try to do as much as we can for free. So if you're at home like I was and didn't have the money to go to a class that couldn't have a babysitter because they had so many children, then this is a fun thing for you. And I try to be quiet in the morning, but now I've got a studio in one of our extra bedrooms now that my grandson moved out. So I'm able to just be right in here and be a little bit noisier than I used to be. And some of you want me to be quiet, so turn down the volume. <laughs> okay, so I can come back in here and pounce a little bit more of just the treasure gold. I still have that dark brown. All right, so pounce in my basin, clean that brush out. And you feel like you're, you're wrecking that brush, but we want to fluff it back out and it's ready to paint next time. But you don't want water in it. That's the thing. Now, one of the things I want to show you is we're going to use a little script liner. And I need, let me find the script liner, guys. All right, so we got that. That's all drying. This is one I marbled <laughs> so I could find it. And I had a whole set of my value pack that I did that pouring uh, technique and marveled it. But um, now let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to take a little bit of water. Only time I use water is with a liner. Oops, let's go over here because that's still my loading area. All right, so now what we're going to do is roll it, roll it, roll it really thin. And um, actually, you're going to think I'm crazy because it's so white. I, I really wanted this to be a pretty white flower. Let's make it citrus so it shows. I told you not to use all these cubbies and look, I did. All right. So I'm going to come down a little bit more. And I want you to see that I am going to touch, pull, touch, pull all the way around and see i need to add a little bit of white to that so that is a little dull so what i'm going to do is go back to this white 
I do citrus and white. Let's see if that shows up better. There we go. So I'm tapping the outside edge. Sometimes I do this when the brown's wet and it will make the brown, um, little brown stems or white stems. It just depends. All right. So I'm going to come in here and keep doing these little, see how they're going both ways. And I'm telling you, even if you don't do beautiful strokes for your petals, if you do a really awesome, pretty center, your eyes go right to that center. And I have to tell you, some of the prettiest flowers I've painted is because my centers are just really pretty. See, it grabs a little bit of brown sometime when I'm getting it wet. Okay, so now this is what I want to show you. Um, we can just use um where it is i have a little kiss tool <laughs> and of course i i always say i'm gonna see it, see it looks like a kiss and this is also one of those fun little tools that's very inexpensive and i want you to see that i'm tapping and making it really teeny now this is rubber so it bounces, it gives a whole different look than just a pencil. And you can be a little bit quicker on it. Jeez, see the black's fighting me. The black paper is making the lights like compensate and glow. <laughs> so I want you to see that you can also take a sharpened pencil. All right, you can take a sharpened pencil if you don't have my kiss tool. And you can work on uh, doing that, but you you can go quicker and get different looks with this kiss tool. So I just want you, if you've got something at home, I want you to see that I did this on paper. You can do it on glass, metal, wood, canvas, ceramic, paint it on your walls. I, I just want you to know that I want you, I always spent my time picking up clothing, painting on t-shirts, trash to treasure, paint on old pillows that I want to spruce up my sofa with, um, especially during the season. Think about how fun this would be. All right, so I'm going all the way around. Okay. So this could be relaxing to sit here. I'm, I'm going a little bit longer today because I wanted you to see how fun this can be. And sharing with you some of the things like the stroke studies. I have those stroke studies for fall, all kinds of holidays. Okay, there we go. All right, let me see if I can get out of that glare. All right, now the other thing I can do is you can come in here and go all the way around and make another layer because sometimes they have little teeny seeds in here like uh, like the sunflower does. Okay, isn't that kind of pretty? Okay, all right now, so what I wanna do, um, I have a couple of things that you can do daubers with. Um, little teeny daubers, sets of daubers that we have. We have Q-tips that we can use. But first of all, I'll put a couple of little red. Let's do red. Red, the apple red and berry wine or apple red and June berry. So let's try this. All right, back and forth, pick it up paint and go here and work it in. I hope you enjoy spending this morning with me. I can't wait to see you guys go to my one stroke, my Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook. And that's where everybody comes and shares their paintings. And all my YouTube uh, subscribers are coming over there and, and seeing what we do. I always have big sales on there also. All right, so this little rosebud. So what I want you to see is I have the June berry on the outside, on the inside, and I'm coming right here, and I'm putting all kinds of little layers of that bright red, all right, so that you can see that. 
Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more. Just watch this. I'm just going to pick up little bits of red on that one corner. This is apple red. And you can just lay it in there to add more to it. June berry and I, so I need a triangle okay I have a triangle here of greenery so you triangle of greenery now I need a triangle of red I'm going to come right here so you go up and over then you come right here and make a U you make another U and so you can make white roses just like this if you want it all white okay now then that's when I would like I can put berries in here. I can put some gold in here and other things. Um, one thing I want to show you is um, if we take, I could just take June berry even. See how June berries in here, just little strokes of June berry. All right. Oops, I'm trying to keep it up so I have the glow. So you can use any color leaves and, and add to arrangements and it really makes it pretty, okay? Are you liking it? I love just playing around. Okay, so I was going to make um, some other um, red flowers, five petal flowers, but I thought those red roses for Christmas were nice. All right, so now what I want to do, let's see if I can get a little bit of shine off this. A little bit. All right, I'm gonna, I take a hair tie and put it together to make a little bit of um, pouncing dots. Okay, so let's do a little bit of Juneberry, and I'm going to pick up some white. Okay, I'm going to slide this down so they separate a little bit. All right, so I'm going to. Actually, I'm going to put some right in there. All right. A little bit there. And sometimes I make them like they're little bits of hydrangea. All right. I got three here. But I can put a little bit over here, just a little bit. All right. And then let's take let's take some of this treasure gold. And you saw I did some pine cones. I use the burn amber and and gold for pine cones. All right, so you can touch and pull, touch and pull, little gold, or you can take and pull it out and pull some little streaks of gold out or in. So I'm gonna take water and roll it if I want to make some little fine lines. Can you see just a little bit of curls? All right, so you have a little bit of gold in the in your flower that shows. And a little bit of gold. Okay. All right. 
This is another thing you might want to do is you might want to come along the leaves and do a little bit of gold around the leaf just to give you a little add-on. Yeah, I can do around this leaf also. And or look at this. And those single little leaves. I could just play for a long time, right? <laughs> All right. So, they, oh, let me show you one last thing. And let me show you this. And let me show you that. I have these sets of angle brushes that are little three-piece sets. And um, what I like to do is um, teach people to do those simple little slider leaves with these little angle brushes. And this one is, what number is this one? Oh my goodness. Oh, I've worn off the numbers. It's a smaller angle brush. Um, so look at this. I can just come right in here and lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. And look, push, lift, lift. And when you lift that point, which I call the toe of this brush, I teach you how to do those on practice strokes. This toe right there, the point, is what you make the point of your leaf. One, two, three. And it helps you make all these little vines and all too. All right, I'm getting carried away, but I just want to, I'd like to show you all the little things you can do. All right, we can come out here on some of these little stems. All right, but I always like to have one that's a point. All right, a little bit here and a little bit there. I am so excited about the holidays. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I think this is a great way to start the week. On Wednesdays, you kind of get it started, and now you get to just figure out what you're going to do for the rest of the week. So there you go. I'm going to take a picture and put it up there. Sign it in gold. That makes it really nice. And I will be um, hoping that you subscribe. And I will be back on Friday with more education for you. All right. So thank you for joining me. I hope you stayed along the way and learned something that you didn't know. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.